So what is going on everyone? It is the most handsome fattest barber in the UK. Kieran the Barber back with another video. Today this is a good one. We have a transformation for you all. This is a transformation on a skin fade, a kind of a mid skin fade with a really textured top is a really really good and then we put a little slit in the eyebrow as well so wait for that at the end we do that so starting off we saturate the hair push it out of the way because what i want that top it is to be i want that top it to be completely disconnected and then with my jrls because my jrls get through hair like no man's business we just take off that bulk so i want to start by just getting my guideline in removing all that bulk lovely So repeating the same sides on the back, just coming up just as it's a kind of a mid fade, coming up a past that occipital bone and then repeating that same step, just removing that bulk. So guys, don't forget, um, if you're new to this channel, please, please, please don't forget to give this a little like, a little thumbs up, a little um, comment. That would go, goes a long way for the algorithm. I really, really appreciate when you all comment. My last video got like 20 comments. I know it might not be a lot to some people, but that's a hell of a lot for me. So if you can go and just leave me a little comment, that'd be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. Um, let's see if we can get at least 30, 40 comments this next video. So yeah, I'd appreciate that anyway it looks like he's got a bit of a bowl cut at the minute bless him but don't worry he's gonna get fixed he's not gonna have a bowl cut so now going in with my foils and as we always always do we take that half an inch just below the line that we've actually put in so our first initial guideline we just take that half an inch below and then we just shave round i love these brawns because I've had them years, I've just put a new head on them and they are now incredible again. I love them. I've missed them. I charged them up, put a new head on them, a new blade. And they work absolutely perfect again. So yeah, I'm happy with my bronze again. And you can you can physically see the going from clippers to the bronze, how much they take off. They're just a really, really good trimmer. So yeah, again, now with our foils, we're just coming onto the occipital line now and go in each direction up down left right doing some little spins just making sure we've got them off if you don't if you feel like there's hair still there just get your hand and your fingers and just rub upwards or side to side and see if you can feel any hair stretching the skin helps loads as well so we've removed that initial bulk on them side bits and now what i want to do is i'm going to come in with my one and a half and just slowly flick up i've got my exergo gammas they're brilliant so with my one and a half, as you can see, I'm just lightly flicking up and out. And then what I will do is I will go down to a one closed and I will repeat that same step. So now I've got my half guard open and I'm not going as high. So I'm just going to maybe the edge, the, um, the corner part of the hair and just flicking that up. So we just flick at that. And then again, we take the step of we go down to the half closed and then we'll go a little bit lower each time. And we'll just start flicking out that line. With the half close, you will start to see that line disappear. It doesn't disappear completely. It's not 
recommended that you just keep it like that i would then take off the guard and then go open open blade close blade and it's somewhere in the middle do a little bit of uh trigger play with that always have that brush that brush is really handy removing that horrible hair that tends to stick to the head when you don't really want it to um and then it shows you where the hair is where the hair isn't which is which is brilliant As you can see, I'm just doing a little bit of trigger play here. So I'll go from my half to my zero, back to my half to the quarter. Um, the best thing about the ergos is, is they have a ticktronic lever. So it ticks into place. So you're not going from a random point. You've, you've got a set five or six slots what you can use on the lever, which is really, really good. That's why, personally, that's why I like them there. I think they're really, really good for that. So now open no guard completely open just the blade and you can see i'm now using a little bit more corner work that's how we do it just using them corners flicking up and out with a corner almost like a pencil where you're just scratching it away So just finishing up that fader, then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our little trimmers now, pretty much. And we're going to go over just that line, just scratching out the rest of that line, just with the little trimmers. And then we're going to shape around that edge. Because the haircut looks nice and the, the fade looks really good. But the edging still looks like it's messy, being, being kept natural. So I like to just shape around that edge, make it look nice and sharp. Um... Been back on YouTube now for a couple of weeks. I'm loving it. I'm loving being back on YouTube. I hope you guys love me being back on YouTube. Um, I've my last video from this current point has got like five, six hundred views. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's viewed it. Thank you to everyone that's still watching me. We're bringing out a lot of content now. I'm filming every day pretty much, so you'll get a video every couple of days now, which is which is brilliant. We're pushing out this content. So if you've got anything that you want to see let me know if you want a haircut from me send me a message and if you live in the uk you're more than welcome to come down and we can we can film your haircut like that's always a new thing that i like to do no matter where you are in the uk drive down come and see me if we can film this haircut i'm always looking for new models so yeah that's another thing hey if you're if you're anywhere else and you can get a flight to my shop come and see me I'm just trying to film as much as I can at the minute just to get some good content out there for you guys so we can educate, we can teach, we can make you guys learn how to cut hair um, the, the best way I know how to and that's, that's why I'm doing this. So on this back bit, repeating them exact same steps of the half and then the zero, removing that bulk at the back this crown is still really heavy, so what I do is I come in with my clip over comb in a minute and I just make sure that back bit's just gone. So as you can see, we have really saturated this hair down, <laughs> made it nice and wet. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put that parting in 
even though he doesn't have a part in he has a complete disconnection so what we're doing is we're just going to disconnect that completely and then we're going to start cutting this so we're going to go with a, a clipper over comb coming up at a 90 degree angle so i put my comb in pull out put my comb in pull out and we repeat them steps going ever so slightly higher each time just to start fading that hair in before i start the fading process of the haircut so pretty much it's the same on this side as we repeated on the other side so what i shall do is i shall let you watch and i shall let you enjoy So I love scissor cuts. Scissor cuts are probably one of my favorite things. Any chance I get to do a scissor all over, I absolutely love it. Scissors are my favorite thing. Clipper work is fun because fading and stuff like that, but not many people have scissor cuts only on the top now. So when I get a chance to have the scissors, I love it. Show the customer always how much they want off just to be 100% sure. Club cut at the start. So bringing that fringe up first. The fringe will be my client's feature point. So that's what we're working with here. And then when I cut, I take a little bit more off each time I go back. Going from left to center to right. Going from left to center to right. I know some people cut from middle, go all the way back to left, all the way back to right, all, all the way back. As long as you're cross-checking and you're making sure that haircut is cut properly, then there should be no issue there of any way you cut there is no right or wrong way to cut hair as long as the client obviously goes out happy and i will always say that there is no right or wrong way to cut hair you cut your way and if this helps you you can go do you know what i'm going to try this way and this might help me cut a little bit better i'm going to try something different then perfect my video has worked um but if you're suited to cutting one way that's absolutely fine i've got lots of different ways of cutting i've got lots of different techniques and the ways i like to cut 
just so happens on this client this is the one way i'm cutting this time to be fair i've actually used this this technique now for a few years i i prefer this technique i think it works better for me personally it might not work better for you it might work even better for you so now from that coming in at a 30 degree angle and just chipping into that hair just completely making it giving it texture you know this is the kind of cut that we want if i was to not give this texture and blow dry that up then it would just look silly it really would there would be no there would be nothing in there it would just be flat and horrible texture is such an important part of a haircut when you're obviously doing a textured haircut because you want it to be a bit messy you want it to look like it's not perfect and that's what we want we want this haircut to not look perfect we want this haircut to look edgy to look messy um and by giving it texture and creating texture that's what we want So now a little bit of 245 gel. Shout out to Chris Bossio. This stuff is legit. Um, wiping it on just softens everything. Just lubes up the skin. So when you're shaving it doesn't give them shave rashes or shave bumps. It's, um, it's really, really good. Um, we use it in here a lot. You can get it from um, Chris and Sons if you're in the UK. So that's really good. Always remember when you're going around that edge, just stretch that skin out, but know when to stop. Because if you, what happens if you just stretch the skin out and you go too far and then you release the skin and it pulls it back, you could have ruined a whole haircut. So just make sure you're looking at where you're shaving when you stretch your skin. I like to just go over my fade, um, especially when I've got the razor and stuff like that. Just this, if it's a skin fade. I'm just going to go around it just to see this smooth. Can take off any odd hair, especially around the back of the neck. There's always one or two odd monkey hairs that seem to just flick out everywhere. And yeah, so we just grab them off and it's nice and simple. On to the styling now, guys. You can't be a bit of sea salt spray. I put sea salt spray in everything. <laughs> it's just the best product. Um, it is in the description down below to buy if you want to buy some um, from Amazon. So yeah, it's it's good stuff. This this sea salt spray is brilliant. Dry that in. Again, when you're doing textured haircuts, I don't blow dry up. I blow dry forwards, and then from the fringe, I'll blow dry the fringe up. As you can see, I was dancing. I don't even. I'm. Can you guess what song I was dancing to? That's what I want to know. Can you guess what song I was dancing to? Because I was proper dancing. I think I'd proper dance in a minute as well. Oh, how embarrassing. But I'm keeping it in. I'm loving life. Look at me. I'm happy. Chilling. I need to grow up. <laughs> so if you can guess what if you can guess what uh, song I'm dancing to, I swear I will send you when I get my products through. I'll send you. I'll send you some products. I think I remember. I know what song I was dancing to. So when it comes to the fringe, blow dry the fringe up. I'm making sure that back bit's laying down. It gives me a good chance to see the haircut as it's dried as well because i haven't actually seen the haircut dry yet i've only seen the haircut wet so when it's dry i can go over cross check it just to see if there's any loose hairs that have come out whilst it's wet and you can always obviously hair bounces so when it's wet it's a little bit longer if i want to take any length off of it when it's when it's dry i can do that <laughs> 